Hi again, everyone. Today we're going to discuss the following problem, which is a problem from ordinary differential equations. If we look at our problem, it involves a second order uh, ordinary differential equation, and the coefficients are constant, and we want to find the unknown function y. So how do we do it? Well, the standard procedure with these kinds of problems is to write down the characteristic equation associated with our ODE. So in this particular case, it will be a quadratic. What you then do is solve the quadratic and find the roots, and um, then you look and see, oh, well, are the roots real and equal? Are they real and unequal? Are they complex? For this case, the roots are real and equal, and that gives you a particular form of the general solution. However, the method in that case does not give you any hint on where the general solution comes from. Um, why do exponentials appear? Some people will say that, well, we know that exponentials must appear because we don't want our solution to deviate too much when we differentiate it because it's got to add up to zero. That's okay, but again, why, why did you choose an exponential in the first place? Today's um, little video will give you um, all the justification of, um, of why the method works by using the characteristic. Okay, essentially what we do is we reduce this down to a first order ordinary differential equation. And we know how to solve first order differential equations. It's very, it's very easy. So what we do is we split up our second term. OK, so here I'm going to split it up into 2y prime plus 2y prime Now, you may think, why, why did I choose this? Why didn't I split it up into, say, 3 and 1? Well, it'll come uh, a little bit clearer later. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to team up the first two terms and the last two terms together. Okay, so get this. Uh, and we get this. So all I've done is rearranged the previous line. Now if you look closely, this part is just the derivative of this, this part. Right, that's important. Okay, so this part is just the derivative of this part. Okay, so we've reached an important stage now because we have the derivative of this part and this is the same as what's in here. We can now make our substitution. So I'm going to let u equal what's in these brackets. OK, so if I substitute in for u here and here, our second order differential equation becomes a first order one. So we're going to get u prime for this term and rearranging, we're going to get u prime equals 2u. Now, we can easily solve this. We can solve it directly. The solution is going to be an exponential function. So if we solve this, this one, this ODE, and obtain this, 
a is an arbitrary constant. You may think, well, hang on, we're trying to solve for y, but here we've only got u. Well, we can now go back to our substitution, substitute in here for u, and now solve for y. Okay, so let's call this star. So star now becomes, okay, it's going to become a linear first order differential equation. Oh, that should be an x up there. Sorry about that. All right. Now, if we multiply through by the integrating factor on both sides, the integrating factor here will be e to the minus 2x. If we multiply on both sides, well, this part drops out. And on the left-hand side, we can form the following. The left-hand side is just the derivative of y times the integrating factor. Okay. So what we do is integrate both sides and rearrange. Okay, so if we integrate and make y the subject, we get the following. So here the b is the constant of integration. Okay, so let's go back to how I got this split here. I split the minus 4 up into minus bracket 2 plus 2. Why did I do that? Why didn't I choose 1 and 3 or something like that? Well, the 2 and 2 is the repeated root from the characteristic equation associated with this. So the characteristic equation, of course, does play a role here, but it's not explicit. 